I do, Scarlett. Thanks very much. Joined here in our Washington studios by David Nason. He was an assistant Treasury Secretary in the Bush administration, worked with Hank Paulson, developed uh, financial regulatory changes, a proposal there in the Bush administration, now with Promontory Financial, providing advice to, to banks, including some of the banks that they could very well be hit by this. David, as always, appreciated. I know you know these issues very, very well. Your takeaway with this decision from the Obama administration to go down this route, given everything we've heard up to this point, they hadn't taken this step, now they have. They have. I mean, I, I guess I have three quick reactions. First, it's a big resurgence of influence for Chairman Volcker. I mean, he's been he's been talking about these issues for a while. Uh, secondly, it does seem to be come out of nowhere a little bit. I mean, the, the administration is pretty far along in terms of where they wanted to go for regulatory reform. This is a different, uh, different approach and a different tactic. And third, this is the first time I think that the administration has said clearly, big is bad. And uh, that, that's, a, that's a sea change, that's an important development, and that's something that people are going to focus on for a while. You heard Lizzie walk through some of the, the details here. Again, there's this talk about uh, size-wise, we've got the 10% cap on, on deposits right now. If they were to expand that to other liabilities, how painful would that be for, for banks? We'd see banks have to get smaller? I think you would. It depends on how you define the liabilities, obviously, because liability is a very, very, very broad term. But if you basically suggest that the concentration has to be limited and you define liabilities broadly, certainly you would have to, you would see these institutions shrink. What about the, the proprietary trading side of this? The fact that uh, banks that right now have hedge funds, private equity funds, they'd have to end those businesses if they also have the commercial banking side. How draconian is that and how hard is that going to be to implement if indeed it is? It's going to be, it will first of all be very difficult to implement implement it would be it is a big change it is essentially a move back to kind of the narrow banking concept which limits the amount of activities that a commercial bank can do there, there have been people who have been talking about this for a while this is a very 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 targeted attempt to go after how some of these firms make their money that's that's what the president just said that's what the approach is about it's activity limitations obviously some politics involved here the president taking on a, a popular target right now let's listen again really quickly to the president a short time ago talking about that. If these folks want a fight, it's a fight I'm ready to have. And my resolve is only strengthened when I see a return to old practices of some of the very firms fighting reform. Obviously, a tone of populism here. This coming on the heels of the bank tax the president imposed. David, what is going on here? This is—is uh, is this more politics than policy? Uh, well, there, there's uh, what the narrow banking proposal is certainly a policy. The the bank tax, this, there's some politics to that. There's there's no question about that whatsoever. People are unhappy about the bank bailouts. People are unhappy about the bonuses and the profits. And the president is responding to those concerns. You've uh, had to deal with Congress as well. This was not part of the original proposals from Chairman Frank or Chairman Dodd over in the Senate side. How how difficult is it uh, for them to now add these proposals on? How, how much of an uphill fight will this be in Congress? It's, it's a complicated thing to, to implement. It's a complicated thing to structure. It's one of those things that's very easy to say, hard to do. So it's going to require a lot of thoughtful debate from the Senate Banking Committee and the House Financial Services Committee. So it's not easy. It's not a layup by any means. Are you surprised? We're already seeing uh, at least some, uh, some pain in the bank shares uh, uh, right now on Wall Street uh, on the heels of the President's announcement? I'm not surprised because I think Wall Street's going to cor correctly estimate that this would require a shrinkage of the profit-making activity of some of these institutions if they're implemented. But of course, we're in the third inning and we've got a lot of innings to go to see if this actually happens. But no doubt in your mind, if this were to happen, this would inflict pain on the bottom line. If implemented as the president says, yes. I mean, there's there's lots of ways that you can make these things kind of like Swiss cheese. But if, if implemented as said, it would be a, a significant change. Let me just ask you one final question. Uh, what does this say about the current current regulatory structure we have in place. In essence, is the Obama administration saying, we don't have confidence in the regulators to do this, we need to create these firewalls uh, and put them in, uh, make them permanent? Well, I, I certainly I have confidence in the regulators, but I think what it's saying is that it's hard to regulate these activities. And what they're saying is that maybe it's too hard. Maybe we're asking too much of the regulators to do this, so let's just limit the activities. All right, David Nason, as always, we appreciate it. Promontory Financial, also former Bush administration assistant Treasury Secretary Scarlett, we'll send it back to you much more from here in D.C.